look up in the sky. Why, 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 why? Hey there, Super Kids, and welcome to Super Kids, your number one source for youth fitness and wellness. TJ here to ask, as your unknown personal trainer, have you ever wondered what it is inside your body that actually keeps you together? I mean, think about it. When you bend your elbow, or you throw a ball, or you kick your knees up, or run or jump, what is actually holding the insides of your body together so that you don't fall apart? Well, boys and girls, there's two very important but very different connective tissues that are responsible for holding you together, and they're called tendons and ligaments. Let's take a close look at what tendons and ligaments actually are, where they are in your body, and what each of them help you do. First connective tissue to discuss is tendons. Your tendons are these tough and flexible bands of fibrous connective tissue that actually connects muscle to bone. And your tendons and muscles work together to move your bones. Tendons can also attach muscles to other structures in your body, like say your eyeballs for instance. Now when a tendon becomes inflamed, that's referred to as tendonitis. And that's basically feeling soreness in that joint because you've been using that joint and tendon over and over and over again doing the same exact thing. Things like playing tennis or golf, and even throwing a football. <laughs> Some of the most common areas of tendonitis include the rotator cuff or shoulder, elbow, adductors or the inside of your upper legs, patellar tendon or your knee joint, Achilles tendon which is down by your footsies, your hamstrings, and your gluteus maximus, or what we refer to as your bum bum. And tendonitis, boys and girls, is much more common in adults, especially those over 40 years of age. And that's because as tendons themselves age, they tolerate less stress, are less elastic, and are much more prone to injury and easier to tear. And that is no good. Now the good news, boys and girls, is that tendonitis can actually be avoided. Health professionals recommend that you start activities off slowly and then gradually build up your activity level. Actually, this is partly why here at Super Kids, we divide our fitness videos up into three different categories. Now, if you're starting to notice some joint pain, you want to stop that activity immediately and do something else. You can always get back to that other activity later. Now, if you actually have tendonitis, it can be treated fairly quickly, and this is great news. The best and most effective way to treat tendonitis is just to simply press the injured area and apply ice for 15 minutes a couple of times throughout the day. But you don't have to sit in the corner to ice, you know. Right. I said you don't have to sit in the corner. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, boys and girls, another great remedy is to take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medicine or gels which we recommend here at Super Kids you only do with adult permission and supervision. Okay, boys and girls, the second type of connective tissue to discuss is ligaments. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, boys and girls, your ligaments are a key part of what allows most of your joints to move. Plus, ligaments attach your bones to other bones and help control their range of motion and stabilize your bones so that they move in proper alignment. Basically, boys and girls, a ligament's job is to prevent unwanted and potentially damaging movements. Your knee is an excellent example because it contains ligaments that ensure that your legs cannot bend backwards. And these ligaments are super important in maintaining the stability of your knee joint while your knees are in motion. And because ligaments play such a huge role in stabilizing your joints, they are very susceptible to injury due to overuse or sudden movement. In fact, boys and girls, many professional athletes injure their knees, elbows, and shoulders from running, jumping, and even throwing. <laughs> Come on. But have no fear, boys and girls, because no matter your age, weight, shape, or athletic ability, regularly stretching can definitely help increase the length and flexibility of your muscles and by extension of your ligaments. This basically means you can run faster, jump higher, play longer, and just be more mobile just from simply being more flexible. Now, what's even better than that, boys and girls, is that here at Super Kids, we offer a stretching 101 video that's available right here in our health education section, so definitely check that out. Okay, boys and girls, that wraps it up for this health education segment on... Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? For more health education videos and other content, stay right here at superkids.com under the health education section. Boys and girls, we are constantly uploading brand new content here at Super Kids. That way things around here stay super fun, exciting, and fresh for you. 
Okay, boys and girls, I have a question. How does an army officer address connective tissue? Well, he says, attend done. <laughs> 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 <laughs>